Mulu Minaka and welcome to uh, this week's program of uh, Speak Your Mind. I'm uh, Wame Valentine. Today we'll be speaking about the uh, uh, a very interesting topic, uh, an important topic, the e-ticketing system. This system uh, said by some to revolutionize transportation in this country, or at least how at least how we pay uh, our bus fares for those of us who do travel on public service vehicles. Joining me today from uh, the Land Transport Authority, I've got the Manager Standard Compliance, Mr. Fayam Imrazali. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Lee, and welcome to the program. Good afternoon, Wami. I've also got the uh, director for phonology, uh, Mr. James Trussler. He's on the program as well. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon, Wami. 3220906 and uh, 3220907. That is the uh, direct uh, line into the uh, Gold FM studio. And really, for the sake of uh, our viewers, or our television viewers, for those of you who are watching the uh, replayed uh, c- coverage on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, we do, these, we do Speak Your Mind live every Thursday on uh, this radio station. And this Thursday happened to be the 14th of February. So really on behalf of the team here at uh, Gold FM, I'd like to wish the uh, listeners of this radio station a happy Valentine's Day. And I uh, do apologize to you gentlemen that you're spending your Valentine's Day with me. Uh, but nonetheless, I'll try to make it memorable. We'll go straight into the, uh, uh, the discussion. It is an important topic and we'll start off first with you, uh, Mr. Mr. Ali. First question is, uh, most people would like to know, why was the e-ticketing system brought about? I mean, what is the whole idea of the e-ticketing system. Why can't we just pay our fare uh, like we always did in the past, through cash? Uh, thank you, Wami. Uh, e-ticketing system is, uh, well, there are a lot of benefits on e-ticketing system. First of all, we'll have a better control. And uh, likewise, uh, some of the complaints before coming on, uh, uh, what you call, uh, like leakage uh, in fares and uh, bus companies not getting the right amount of money. And then uh, that's where LTE also coming up on loading and how to control uh, uh, overloading exercise and a uh, fair, uh, fair structure for LTE also will c- have a control. Even government comes in Africa on the tax issues. So we'll have a better control, efficiency on the e-ticketing. And of course, in the law, it says uh, 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 receipts to be produced where we'll have a fair calculated by consoles and proper uh, documentation will be there. I should mention first that uh, we were hoping to have the CEO on the program, uh, but I do understand that uh, he's got uh, other important matters to attend to, uh, and uh, unfortunately he was unable to join us today. I did mention this because we were talking about the fact that CEO was going to appear. Uh, with regards to your answer, sir, um, also it has been made uh, public, the uh, at least from the Fiji Bus Operators Association, that there has been uh, a leakage of about $7 million in the uh, bus industry every year uh, due to, to fraud, really, of uh, yeah. how bus drivers have been, instead of putting the money in where it belongs, they've been pocketing it. Is that true? Yeah, that's some of the issues uh, discuss analysis done, but uh, that's where e-ticketing will uh, uh, come up. Like when you have a control, like electronic ticketing will be there. There will be a backup service where reports will be generated daily and everybody will have access. Mm. How what's the amount coming and how bus operators are operating. And then, uh, of course, uh, another issue is the public will benefit, will have a better buses for, on our roads. Mm. Uh, do you think this new system will uh, save, will stop the 7 million leakage? Of course, yes. But uh, There may be some teething problem, but we are solving uh, case by case. But of course, yes, it will solve issues. Mm. At this stage, uh, Fijians can still pay cash when they travel on bus. When will uh, the e-ticketing system be mandatory? E-ticketing system, uh, currently, uh, Central Eastern, we got uh, already live. Western, we will be live by 17th this month. And of course, the uh, end of the month, we'll go to North. But we have uh, both option, cash and uh, card system. But when the system is operational, no issues, no problems coming up, then um, uh, authority LT will introduce a cashless system, but of course, at the, currently we got both cash and card system. But seventeenth of is it this month or next month? By seventeenth uh, of this month, uh, West will be on live. All of us currently only central at the moment. Currently live means they're using uh, consoles plus cash and right. cards, both system, and not will be at the end of the month. So there's not a set date when this will be compulsory for you to pay your fare through plastic. For e-ticketing cards. For e-ticketing cards, yes. There's yes. no set date yet. Uh, currently, both uh, cash and card system is okay. But uh, as our uh, project implementation stage, we got April 1st to have it uh, all to be uh, using card system. But there will be option for cash also. 
uh, unless and until we find that it is workable, no problems coming up, then we'll go for cashless. Mm. Uh, let's just move our attention to you, uh, Mr. Trussler of uh, Phonology. Just for the benefit of the listeners of this radio station, the viewers as well watching at home, what does uh, Phonology have to do with the e-ticketing system? Okay, Phonology was uh, appointed by the LTA as a solution provider. So Phonology is a company who's actually installing the consoles on the buses and supporting the consoles in terms of um, after-service, breakdowns, Anything related to the consoles basically is, is Phonology's responsibility. Mm. In addition, Phonology, we partnered with Vodafone to actually run the back office. That's where all the transactions are going. And people will actually use a Vodafone m card, a smart card, to actually pay for their fare on the bus. Mm. So that's where Phonology fits into it. So uh, wh- what has been the response, uh, Mr. Trussler, from the uh, bus uh, drivers, the bus operators, and also from the public who are using this technology right now? Uh, response from the public is quite positive. Um, they're excited. There's been some challenges, of course, any new technology, especially uh, bringing in something so new into Fiji, uh, when everyone's been used to paying cash for so many years, it's, that's quite a challenge. So, But we're working through those challenges. Um, as uh, Bayam said, we have gone live in Central. That That's fully live. Um, we were in the western side on the weekend just gone. We have activated some buses, um, so we are actually in a, we are running live on some buses already in the Western, which uh, is prior to the sort of the official go live uh, this coming week on the seventeenth. And the team, the technical team's heading back to the north today, and we'll be going live this coming weekend in in terms of activating some buses in the north prior to you know the the, the official go live uh, mm-hmm. at the end of the week. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to be ahead of the schedule. Um, but by the end of this month, we must uh, be live, you know, in all three divisions, fully sort of up and running. Uh, card sales have been very active in Central for the past month. Uh, Western and Northern card sales have been active over the past week. Um, bus companies are, you know, requesting to have it cashless as soon as possible. Um, so not all bus companies, but, uh, you know, majority I'm visiting, they're asking me that question. LTA has made it quite clear. Once they see... Everything is ready. That's in terms of, you know, the machines, the teething problems um, with the drivers, with the bus companies being able to fully understand how to get the reports for their revenue. All stakeholders are happy with the reports. And the general public have availability of cards and top up. I believe that's what LTA told us. And that's the message we pass to the bus companies. We're all doing our part to sort of make that happen. Um, In terms of bus drivers, what we're actually doing, the technicians have actually done a round of training with them, but still we got feedback on the bus stands and LTA road marshals got feedback where you know some bus drivers said they needed more training. So now together with the LTA, we are providing driver training every evening mm. and actually LTA get the driver to sign off on that training. Okay, uh, let me just jump in, Mr. Trussler. We'll just take a quick break and uh, we'll come back with more right here on Speak Your Mind. Thank you. We're back. Joining me today is the uh, Director for Phonology, Mr. James Trussler. I'm also joined by uh, Mr. Fayyam Imrazali, representing the uh, Land Transport Authority. He's the Manager for Standard uh, Compliance. Earlier on, before we went to the break, uh, Director, you mentioned about, uh, or rather asked about the response from the public, and uh, you've mentioned that for the most part it has been positive. I've spoken to a number of individuals who are using this system right now, uh, Fijians and also bus drivers, as to what they think about this uh, e-ticketing system. Some have said, yes, it's been all right. And others, an overwhelming number, have said that they've experienced quite a lot of, uh, experienced the system to be quite faulty. Every time they swipe the card, there seems to be, there seems to be some problem, which ended up in them having to pay their fare by cash, uh, which raises the question, so what sort of a technology is this? Where is it manufactured from? Okay, just to uh, correct you, the system, we, we've also received this feedback. Now, I'd say there is no system issue. We've actually attended several call-outs, and every time we go there, there is no problem with the system. So what we identified, and like I said previously, the LTA actually identified as well, was that some drivers were claiming that, or they're not using it correctly. I've had customers actually call me, text me. Um, One customer in particular yesterday actually used the machine for the driver to process his son's fare. So we have had 
uh, problems where some drivers are saying they don't know how to use a machine or it's mm. faulty, but when we actually get on the ground, we find a different story. Okay, but talk to me about this particular machine. Uh, where is it manufactured in? A uh, machine is manufactured in China. Mm -hmm. And is there a company that, is this been used overseas? Yeah, of course, it, mm. it is, yeah. Which parts overseas, uh, Mr. Shasla? Predominantly in China it's used and mm. in other countries too. All right, and they've used it in buses? Yeah, of transportation. course, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, this, of course, is a very big issue for this country. Uh, Mr. Ali, as you would suspect, uh, has the Ministry of, uh, or rather, the Land Transport Authority been to places overseas where this technology is used? Uh, LTA has done research, but uh, not been to overseas. But we have done research, we have found out uh, the system is working. And uh, currently also implementation, uh, implementation stage, we are moving to... Uh, bus companies to bus stands and checking out. Uh, there are a few issues coming up, but that's a teething problem. Like uh, some passengers not demanding ticket, some drivers not issuing ticket. When our team visit the bus stand checking, the drivers not using, telling that there is no Mastercard given by a few operators. And uh, like uh, some example, when visiting by a team, they find out that drivers not using. They say they're not aware. So we are solving uh, about the driver awareness also, as I said by James. Uh, we LT facilitating on this training every afternoon, night time, uh, working after hours so from LT's point of view with uh, the solution provider, going bus companies, providing them training. And it's not hard also, but it's only learning exposure, new technology. But there's a problem a little bit with solving, but uh, issue on uh, machine consoles yeah, at the moment is currently working properly. All right. Um, let's talk about uh, one other issue, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ali, and uh, I'd also like to get your views on this, Mr. Strassler. Uh, you've sir, mentioned that uh, Phonology is the uh, so solution provider, uh, and uh, this may seem like a bit of an odd question, but uh, really, what is who is the solution provider for this system at this stage? Uh, thank you. I mean, at this stage, there are five companies uh, approved by LTA for mm -hmm. the solution providers. But of course, active means those working currently is like phonology and uh, TFL. TFL is also a, a, a solution provider. But the other three uh, uh, companies not yet uh, coming to our picture. Like maybe there will be some problem with them not coming to live with the LTA at the moment currently. But uh, we got a minimum uh, standard requirement. We got a arrangement already that there will be one backup backup uh, office where uh, phonology and uh, Vodafone uh, in partnership have a back office. So solution providers are five, currently two live active, mm. so they will be installing uh, consoles and hardware and on all infrastructure into the buses. But the back of office is where the IT system will be there, report generated and cards issued, so forth. So we got uh, five players, actively two there. Uh, bus operators got a uh, uh, chance to whichever they, way they want to go, either TFL or phonology. But uh, out of maybe 54, every day we're having meeting analysis done, out of 54, 48 operators are willing to fit or fitted the consoles already. Uh, some out of 54, 48. 48. And uh, out of 48, I believe uh, the director for phonology will confirm uh, 46. Yeah, 46 going towards phonology. Uh, phonology. Uh -huh. Two, three operators going towards uh, TFL, but there's a little bit problem on console. They're updating the uh, hardware system. Right. But uh, nothing harm. We have approved five. We got five solutions. Competition is there, but only backup is one. Okay, so Mr. Ali, uh, the uh, two active ones are phonology and TFL. Would you be able to disclose the other three? Uh, yes, uh, currently... The other three, I can uh, later mm -hmm. on stage, I will disclose. You can't mention it now? No, we can mention it, but I just get the confirmation. Just All right, okay, so we'll get, get it after the break. Um, uh, you've also mentioned, uh, we've been speaking about the consoles. Is the consoles that uh, Phonology has in the buses that chose Phonology, are they similar to the consoles that Telecom uh, Fiji Limited has? Are they similar consoles? Yes, uh, the principles work uh, similar according to minimum quality, but... Uh, for phonology, they have upgraded the consoles. There are a lot of features other than etiquetting, which uh, James can know, but it's uh, similar. But they are now upgrading theirs also, uh, TFL. Okay. Uh, are they similar, James? 
Um, I can't comment too much on the telecom one because mm -hmm. I'm not that familiar with it. But definitely I can say our system has a lot of extra features mm -hmm. um, beyond e-ticketing. For example, we also have GPS uh, vehicle uh, monitoring on e every bus. So time to come, even passengers will be able to check from, the, say, their mobile phone or the internet to see where that your bus is. Uh, so if you catch a uh, daily bus... Oh, excuse me, excuse me, hang on. You, you can check where your bus is? Uh, going forward, you will be able to. I can currently check on my phone already. I'm testing, but... Uh, Going forward, we will launch a service like that to the passengers too. So, for instance, if you live between the Subanosori route, you can check where your bus is going right now yes, on you your can. mobile phone. Yeah, you can. Right now, the operators can check where their buses are, their own buses. Or the operators. Yes. Not the uh, passengers or those who that, wish to that, find out whether their buses is coming. That will come. That's They'll coming. come later. Yes. Well, that should be an exciting feature. Tell me something, Mr. Ali. Um, uh, DFL and phonology. Uh, okay, first I'll ask this question to Mr. Trussler. If I wish to come on board now, the e-ticketing system... The application how do i how do i sign up what is the requirement like to get a a card okay so to purchase a smart card so you can use it mm. okay you have to go and uh, register for that card and it's currently the cost is two dollars okay and you need to take a form of id for registration now if i used another mobile company for instance let's say i i, I have a digital mobile phone do i have to sign up with vodafone uh, the card is independent to the mobile network you can you don't even need to own a mobile phone mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back with more on Speak Your Mind. And we're back. Welcome back to Speak Your Mind. Joining me today from the uh, from Phonologies, their director, as well as uh, Mr. Fayyum Imraz Ali from the Land Transport Authority. Very shortly, we'll speak to the General Secretary of the Fiji Bus uh, Operators Association. Uh, but before we do, we've got uh, a caller on line seven. So, gentlemen, we'll just go over to the phone lines. I believe we've got a gentleman from Nakasi, Sairusi. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, do you have a question for the guest? Yes, uh, for the gentleman. Go right ahead. Uh, uh, who is responsible if the machines are in operation? Who will enforce the usage of these machines and the issuance of the tickets? And who will be charged? Okay, uh, the first question is who is responsible for these machines? Is that your first question, Serusi? Uh, yes. Bula uh, Serusi. The res uh, responsible uh, authority is like uh, phonology. We have given a uh, uh, as a approved solution provider, but LTE is a pro, uh, enforcer, regulator. LTE sees that everything happens according to our minimum uh, standard requirement. And uh, for the uh, wrongdoing uh, issuance enforcement, LTE will play a part role to the driver and the, to the passengers both. And what was your second question, uh, Serusi? Who will enforce the usage of these machines and the issuance of the tickets to the passengers? Enforcement uh, comes to LTA and of course we uh, partnership with police on enforcement and uh, see that tickets are issued to each passenger by the drivers. Is that so all right for you? So you mean to say that uh, in all the buses you will have LTA officers uh, boarding the bus to check the ticket? No, it's a random check by LTA plus uh, if complaints come. Okay, Naka for you. Naka say. All right. Uh, we've uh, earlier on we've uh, I asked the question about the solution providers. You've mentioned five, two active and uh, the three uh, not yet active. Do you have the names of the three, Mr. Ali? Yes. Uh, the other three is uh, third one is Daytech, uh, fourth one is Newman Limited, and fifth one is uh, Tembara in partnership with Micro Electronica. Mm -hmm. And these guys haven't been active yet. Why? Yes. Uh, at the currently no comments because maybe the system or uh, uh, workmanship maybe not up to that level or some so they will come back slowly or we'll write to them okay earlier on uh, mr trussler i asked you about the how do i apply to get a card so you mentioned i have to pay two dollars and then i'll have to fill in a form uh i don't have to leave my other mobile company if i'm if somebody else a listener is with digicel they don't have to get a new vodafone number no definitely not the card is not associated to any mobile phone mm -hmm. so even tourists coming in they they can get a card you don't have to have a mobile phone so it's not associated to a mobile phone number all right so what, what's in the form <coughs> do i have to give in personal details or is just you just give in your personal details and uh one type of id the id is very very flexible from driving license to fmpf to the head uh, village um, letter, 
um, stat debt. So we're making it as easy as possible and we're trying to be flexible. All right. Gentlemen, let's cross over again to the phone lines. Line 7, good afternoon to you, sir. Or ma'am. Hello. Hello, hello. My apologies. Good afternoon to you, ma'am. Yeah, you got a question for my guests? Yes, I got one question. Could I just kindly, just for the sake of the TV folks, just get your first name? Uh, Gita. And where are you calling from, Gita? I'm calling from, I'm one of the passengers actually. I travel by bus, the island bus. Right on. And I stay in Woody, Woody Road. So Fantastic. there's one question with me. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been saying over like over the papers and we have been listening to the radios, watching the news. It has been saying like uh, for the TFL machine, the e-ticketing machine, there has been teething problems. Right. But uh, I would like to know that if there are so many teething problems, then why wasn't the machine being tested fully before installing it in the buses? Mm. Uh, thank you for the question, Gita. Actually, I, I would like to state that the, the machine is not having the teething problems. The majority of the teething problems are actually coming from the drivers. No, uh, but from the time you have come online, you have been saying that there are teething problems in the machine. No, we haven't said the machine. We're saying there are teething problems in the project. But the, what, the problems we actually find are the challenges with the drivers. And that's why we are doing the training again with the LTA officers. Okay. And, and one more thing. Like, um, what do we do when, like, one passenger goes on, the board the bus, and uh, the passenger, they don't have cash with them? And uh, the drivers, they just want to accept the cards. So, and the drivers, they sometimes tell the passengers to get off the bus. We can't accept you. Like, we need the card only. Then what, uh, in that scenario, what the passenger can do? Mr. Ali? Yes, uh, in that scenario, we also are monitoring our team is there full time on the road uh, currently because it's a new project to all of us. So there is a teething problem, as said by James, teething problem not to the machine but operational issues. That's where we're solving. For the cards, if the driver not accepting, we'll uh, investigate and we'll uh, currently also we got a, a process mapping on this one, the driver with the op uh, operator or director of the bus company are called to s chief executive for the show course why he's not operating. And if worst case scenario, we'll see, we'll cancel the or suspend the driver license. So that's a proactive issue we are taking currently. Okay, that answers my question. And one more thing, sometimes when we try and swipe the card on the machine and it doesn't read, the, like it's not using, it's not working. Uh, Gita, what we've uh, seen from our experience is the driver is not uh, pressing the right button probably on the console. And the passenger must put the card at the bottom part of the machine where you see those three white uh, curves. And, if, and my advice is you just put the card directly there flat on the machine and it should read uh, instantly. Okay, thank you so for answering All my right. question. Vinaka, thank you for calling. Uh, another issue is uh, you've mentioned about the application process for phonology and Vodafone. Uh, how about telecom? Would either of you gentlemen be able to... Is it the same? So it's obviously a different card because it's a different solution provider. Yes, uh, for telecom, uh, we are sorting out on the, on the card issue because we ha should have a one card, but only back, uh, back office will be one, but uh, solution providers can be different as said five. So we're sorting out the uh, card system for telecom. Oh, so there's just one card yes. provided by Phonology? And Vodafone? Yes. Not by Telecom Fiji? Uh, currently, that's what we're sorting out, mm -hmm. uh, especially for uh, subsidized uh, school children. Okay. Will there be a chance in the future, is it a possibility that Telecom will also come into this market so that there's competition? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, as we go along, we can improve our system, our standards, procedures. Mm. Still on the cards, uh, it, rather interesting, uh, and this has raised quite a lot of eyebrows, uh, Mr. Ali, earlier on when this system just came to light, uh, it was mentioned that it will cost $17. Uh, and then I believe it was Vodafone or Phonology that mentioned, no, we'll, we'll retail it for $10 and we'll pull seven, seven bucks out of our pocket. Uh, and this was made public. Uh, there was quite a, an outcry from the public. And uh, then it was announced quite literally overnight that it was going to be $2. So from 17 to 10 to 2 uh, what is going on here? Yes, uh, complaints uh, received, uh, numerous complaints received, and government came into the picture, and they had uh, agreement subsidized, and then government uh, assisting of, of Vodafone, and that's where agreement made uh, from government side, and came across till 31st, they will be having $2, and after that, we'll go back to tender. So these two dollars will run till the thirty first of next March, month. March. And from March, yes. yeah, which is next month. Yes, yes. And so right after March from the first of April it's ten dollars. Ten dollars. May I ask why ten dollars? 
Why is the card costing $10? Actually, uh, uh, from phonology with partnership with Vodafone, they got a cost benefit analysis it's costing altogether $17.25. Mm. So they came across to $10 and $7 they are assisting from their side, Vodafone to the customers. Mm. Do you want to put... Do you want to answer these, James? Uh, I mean, Fayum's to actually answered the question. He's correct. The cost of that landing cost is $17.25. Mm. Uh, Vodafone was kind enough to subsidize it by $7.25 to actually retail it to, for $10. But why, James? Because overseas, this card costs about $4 Fijian. Why is it uh, $10? Okay, this t- the type of card now is the latest technology in a smart card. Um, we we basically are just implementing what, what uh, we've been asked to implement by the Land Transport Authority, there was a minimum standard requirement given, and the requirement was a smart card. Mm-hmm. This this type of card is a true smart card with the latest security features, um, where there are some other types of cards that can be hacked. You can get software on the internet and load balances and things like that, which uh, definitely Vodafone and Phonology would not want to be part of. So we've ensured that we have the latest technology and the most advanced type of card. Mm. Uh, some people have mentioned, uh, some people have thought or the understanding was that this $10 was to pay for the system, but obviously the bus companies will be paying for the uh, e-ticketing system, I do understand. Yes. The smart card that you're referring to, um, I, I, I did a research and it cost $4 Australian in Australia. Yeah, that, that's probably a different type of card. I mean, we, we, we just a smart card, we can't compare, uh, we have to compare Apple to Apple. What we're saying is this is a latest NFC smart card chip and with the latest uh, security features. Now, there are cheaper cards available on the market around the world, but like I said, we don't want to be bringing something in that can be hacked by simple software downloaded on the internet. All right, we'll take a break and we'll come back with more on Speak Your Mind. And we're back. This is the uh, fourth uh, and second final segment of this uh, of this Talkback show for this week. I'm joined by the uh, Director for Phonology, James Trussell, as well as uh, the uh, Manager for Standard Compliance with the Land Transport Authority, Mr. Fayumi Mrazali. Very shortly, we'll speak to uh, Mr. Alfred Williami from LTA, as well as the General Secretary for the Fiji Bus Operators Association, uh, Mr. Rohit uh, Lachan. We'll open up the phone lines, 3220906, 3220907. 907 as mentioned earlier on, since this is live on radio only, uh, this is really for the benefit of those who are listening into this radio station, Gold FM. Uh, earlier on, uh, Mr. Mr. Trussler, you mentioned, I rather asked about registration and how can someone get this card. You mentioned about uh, someone getting, or the individual getting the ID. Uh, what's, why can't the individual just go and purchase this card as opposed to getting an ID and having the go, go through the registration process? Oh, that's a very good question, Wami. Thank you. Um, Look, let me explain. People are very protective about their money. If you did not register and you lost the card, you would lose your money. By, by doing a registration process, we, we are actually able to verify the, cust- uh, the passenger or the customer that they actually do own that card. So if they still have $10 or $50 on there, when they get a new card, we can actually transfer that ac- across. They do not lose their money. There's another thing. If I saw your card number there and I didn't like you, I could quite easily call the call center and block your card and say it was mine. Mm. Uh, and, you know, so by registering, we have a verification process to actually confirm that you are actually the correct person, the correct owner. Mm. Uh, before we go to uh, Mr. Mr. Ali, just uh, very quickly, some other um, maybe apps, if you allow me to call them, uh, or, or what's, what's in the pipeline regarding this system? Earlier on, you mentioned about how the fact uh, consumers or Fijians could actually see where the bus is coming from their mobile phone. Is that the only thing they could look forward to? Is there more exciting features? Uh, there's a lot more exciting features coming, but I don't want to, you know, uh, let some of the tricks out the bag right. at the moment. All right, fair enough. Let's move to Mr. Ali. The reason why this came about, this system came about, is of course th- what we discussed earlier on, the $7 million leakage within the bus, uh, bus industry. Um, how much for the bus operators, how much are they have to going to pay for this system in total? The maintenance, because this, the maintenance, is it done by phonology or by the bus operators? The maintenance is done by phonology. Okay, so the because there's a lot of receipts involved here, uh, the purchasing of this equipment for each bus, how much is it going to cost them, roughly, per bus? Uh, currently, uh, I could not uh, disclose because there's an agreement between Fiji Bus Operators Association and the solution provider, I see. like uh, phonology. 
but will they be able to get profit out of it? Is it uh, profitable? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, as said uh, about the leakage, like this, so that all will be uh, reduced, removed, and then uh, right amount of income coming to the operators and they investing to the b- uh, buses, new mm. b- fleets coming to Fiji. Okay, uh, sc- school students as well could get this card, I understand. Yes, mm. definitely. Al- almost uh, 100,000 uh, students for who will be getting for sub- subsidized uh, bus fares. Right. Uh, how about the scheme where the uh, the admin- the government is assisting uh, children who come from families who earn less than $15,000, assisting them to pay their bus fares? Uh, does, does this include them as well? Will they be getting a card paid for by the government? Yes, the uh, same scheme will be given. Uh, they will, uh, from Ministry of Edu- Education, they will top up their student's individual card and from there they will go. Mm. Mr. Trussler, uh, regarding the card, how much do I have to top up? What's the minimum amount I must top up? There's a minimum amount of $5 and currently there's no uh, limit set for mm. the maximum. Right, so $2 for the card and $5 uh, for the top up. That's yeah. correct. All right. Uh, this is rather an exciting. Uh, this is very new, uh, to my understanding, at least in this region. Or are we the first one to pilot it in this region? It's uh, new to Fiji. Everybody in the facing. region Pacific. Yes, it's uh, new to Pacific. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, from LTA, I've inquired earlier on from uh, Phonology as to what the response from the public has been about this, about the Land Transport Authority. What has been the response, not only from the consumers but also from bus operators? The response is really good. Uh, Bus operators really coming on board. As I said earlier, out of 54, almost 48 came across the board, Mm. and they are really happy to work with LTE. And uh, we got a like partnership with uh, LTE phonology with uh, Vodafone, telecom, government agencies, and of course the regulator LTE. So the response is good. Fantastic. Well, we're going to have to leave it there and we'll continue very shortly with Mr. William and uh, Mr. Lutton. I wish to thank my guest, the Director for, the, for Phonology, Mr. James Trussler, as well as uh, representing Land Transport Authority, Mr. Fayoum Imraz Ali, gentlemen of Naksar Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to the final segment of Speak Your Mind. Joining me today is Mr. Alfred Williami, the spokesman with the Ministry of uh, Land Transport Authority, and I've also got the General Secretary for Fiji Bus Operators Association, Mr. Rohit Lachan. Gentlemen, good afternoon to you and welcome. Good, af- good afternoon, Mr. We've got a few more minutes left before we wrap up uh, this show. Uh, we've uh, had quite an interesting uh, discussion uh, earlier on. Uh, but as mentioned, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Alfred, as mentioned earlier on, I mentioned to Mr. Ali, it's quite a new, it's a new scheme and a rather exciting one as well. That's right, uh, Wame. Um, as mentioned by Fayum, this uh, uh, project is something new to Fiji. However, the introduction of this project, I mean, uh, the reason why it's being introduced is to uh, provide more transparency in terms uh, in regards to the service that's uh, provided, mm. uh, more accountability, um, and uh, it will um, uh, benefit the bus operators in the long run. Rohit, uh, you were listening in. Uh, what did you think of the discussion? Uh, well, uh, uh, e-ticketing is uh, proposed by government. Uh, they want to see that uh, we have a transparent uh, method of collecting bus fare. And uh, so we've uh, joined in with government to see that uh, to facilitate and see that uh, this project becomes successful. Mm. Were you surprised that uh, Telecom Fiji was mentioned at all as a so- solution provider? Uh, yes, I was. In fact, uh, because... Uh, uh, Vodafone has been given the sole uh, back offices, a solution provider for the back office. And I don't, I, I can't see that how TFL will fit in this now, right? Uh, Mr. William? Um, probably I'll just confirm at this point that uh, the accreditation for the uh, back office, sorry, I'll just probably just correct the, hmm. the accreditation is given to Phonology. However, with, uh, with the system, Phonology is in partnership with Vodafone. So the uh, accredited uh, company that we recognize in terms of uh, the accreditation is given to phonology. But correctly said by um, uh, Mr. Rohit that uh, there are some issues that are being uh, uh, discussed and uh, trying to finalize that between tele- uh, telecom. Because uh, initially in the, for the last two years, we probably understood that there were some issues that where telecom was 
uh, given that um, responsibility. However, at the, for this um, accreditation that we've uh, just uh, uh, accredited, it goes to phonology for the methods. Right. Uh, Mr. Lachin, how has the members of your association uh, honestly responded to this? Uh, are they happy about it? Uh, because initially th this was really done because to stop that leakage, that $7 million leakage. Uh, and are they really excited about this system, e-ticketing system? Well, uh, the operators really don't have a choice eh? because this is uh, government's policy mm. and uh, we just have to adhere to it because this is a requirement by law now that we should have a ticketing machine in all our buses, like in taxi uh, taxis. Taxi have taxi meters. Now government has decided that bus should have e-ticketing machines in all buses. But a number of those members of your associations in the beginning had approved of this along with the government. They had well, well uh, uh, like I've said, eh, that uh, we had to go with, along with government. This is, this is a law now, and, and we'll have to follow that. Mm. Do you really? Do you think that uh, this could really stop the seven million? Well, that, 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 that there's a big question mark on that. Eh? There's a lot of figures have have been uh, speculated. Uh, but it's yet to be seen, eh? so uh, we will see when it comes to that. Eh? Mm. At this stage, you know, we really <laughs> can't speculate on that. Mm. When is the date given for all the bus companies or bus operators in this country to have this system in their in all their buses? Because I do understand some buses have it, some buses don't. When is the date given? Well, uh, 90, uh, 98 percent of the buses in the central division have got the e-ticketing machine. Eh? And uh, we, are, we are rolling out. Uh, like There has been some problems, some issues, uh, but the good thing is that uh, Vodafone and Phonology are addressing it. And, uh, and we're moving on. Uh, so uh, we hope uh, to see that, you know, that this... Uh, uh, now, now, now I believe that they have gone to the West. Uh, and uh, there's few companies that have already been uh, installed in the West, uh, activated in the West. Uh, machines are already, I think, 90... Uh, 8% of the operators have already got it uh, e-ticketing machine installed in their buses. Eh? So uh, it's uh, the process now is to activate all the machines. Central Division is done. Now they're doing West, and I think that it will follow uh, to the north uh, later once the West is completed. Mm. So uh, we we rolling along, and we hopefully that we see that you know it uh, gets all activated, and we'll see then. Mm. How is the training going with the bus drivers? Because I've noticed they've got a lot of punching in of buttons to do. Well, this is training in the moment. For us, it's training at the moment. Mm. Uh, we're not really enforcing it. Eh? Uh, and uh, I believe LTE is not enforcing it as well, because this is a training process. Uh, I was uh, listening to your, uh, the program you know, later, and earlier there was a question saying that there's a lot of issues. Eh? Uh, those issues are now being uh, addressed. Eh? Like, you know, uh, we as we go along, you know, there will be problems, like uh, Mr. Trustler said, that uh, driver issues, this is something very new. And, uh, you know, we're dealing with humans, and drivers can make a uh, mistake that they can be, uh, you know, they can uh, have an error. But uh, we are addressing it as it goes. Eh? So we will hope to see that, you know, that uh, see that all drivers are, used to the equipment and machines before mm. no, it is enforced. All right, let me just jump in. We've got to wrap it up. We're uh, out of time, but I wish to thank my guests from LTA, Mr. Alfred William, Rohit Lachin as well, representing the Fiji Bus Operators Association, the General Secretary, Gentlemen, Vinak Sarvalia. Thank you and very then, much. And then we'll wrap up the uh, program for this week. Do join us again next week. Till then, bye for now. Oh, oh, oh.